KSHFM Washington. An iHeart Radio station. Now the 97.1 Wash FM 80s fix at 6. Well, this time of the evening on a Friday, you just cannot get out of the way of the best of the 80s. It's a best of the 80s weekend and the 80s fix at 6. of the 80s weekend, the 80s fix at 6. Here's Kylie Minogue on Wash FM. Everybody's doing Best of the 80s music playing. Late into a Friday afternoon, we cannot get into this weekend soon enough. In fact, we're praying for it to come as soon as possible. Life is a like a prayer, it's Madonna here on 97.1 Wash FM, and I'm Bill Worthington. Thanks for being along. Well, it's no way to get a date. Did you hear about this guy, James uh, Jason Earl Dean? He's going to go to prison after he handcuffed himself to a female Taco Bell co-worker. The guy said he was just trying to convince the young woman to go out with him, so he slapped some handcuffs on, the two of them. A Georgia judge has sentenced him to four years in prison. He's also going to have to do six years on probation. And who says romance is dead? If you have questions about LASIK... Best of the 80s weekend. Thank you for listening. Wash FM and Bill Worthington with Journey. George Benson on Broadway here on Wash FM and I'm Bill Worthington. Thanks for being along. Well, Junior could soon be doing some web surfing while on the potty, the iPotty, on display at the International Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. What this thing is, it's a high tech take on toilet training. Your iPad attaches to the plastic iPotty. A junior can play with the apps while taking care of business. The iPotty will go on sale in March, sell for about $40. Now, really? Do we really need this? I mean, then the poor little guy's leg's going to fall asleep. And then we'll need an app for that. Sleepies, your mattress professionals. Good afternoon, and thank you for listening. 97.1, Wash FM and Bill Worthington. Here's Adele. There's a fire. Okay, a show of hands now. If you've had it with the workday and you are ready to go, hands up. Well, it looks pretty close to unanimous to me. I'm Bill Worthington. You know, I can move like Jagger. Well, you know, closer to the end of the performance. Brighter than the sun. That's Colby Calais here on 97.1 Wash FM, and I'm Bill Worthington. Is it time to spiff up around your place? Well, let us help you with some good ideas. Win a four-pack of tickets to the Home and Remodeling Show at Dulles Expo Center on the weekend of the 18th. Josh Flagg of Bravo's Million Dollar Listing and Mike Baird of Spike TV's Flip Men will be there. Ticket information is at homeandremodelingshow.com. But you can win your four-pack of tickets right now by being our... 10th caller, one eight six six wash fm one Traffic sponsored by University of Maryland's A. James Clark School of Engineering. It's Washington traffic 395. The southbound side, it's volume. Checking your speed, Washington Boulevard to a Landmark. 95 ahead, heavy volume from Lorton to the Occoquan and from the truck scales to Quantico. 66 on the brakes westbound from the Beltway to 123. Beyond its volume, the GW outbound, heavy, below speed, 123 to the Beltway. There was an earlier crash. Interloop delays, Chain Bridge Road to the Spur, it slows 355 to Connecticut Avenue. Congestion on the outer loop from New Hampshire Avenue over to 270. On 270 northbound, it's a slow go from the Beltway to Old Georgetown Road.